Today we will be setting up the 3CX, which is a Windows-based PBX phone system. To begin, select your language. Next, enter your IP, your local IP. If you'll be using a remote destination, select your public IP. Next, select the amount of extensions that you would like to have. Then your mail server for voicemails. Then your uh, login information. Next, create an extension. These will be used later on. Next, you will select your country, which will give you your international dialing code. Next, you will see your operator extension and your voicemail number. Next is a list of VoIP providers, but we will skip this right now and go back to it later. Now the database is being created and this may take a few minutes. After the database has been created, a link will be given for registration. And since we have completed this earlier to download the software, we will skip this. After installation has been completed, you will see the 3CX page pop up, which will mean you have completed the setup. Next, we will pull up the 3CX management, Windows Management Console, which can be opened in Windows or on a browser. Then we will enter our username and password. Now we will be creating our trunk, which is given to us in our provisioning letter. So to begin, enter IPcoms as your provider. Then in the country field, enter generic. And for provider, enter generic VoIP provider. And next, and for this current service, the SIP server is 2a.ipcoms.net. This will also go in the outbound proxy field. And the external number and authentication ID are your DID. And your authentication password is also your pass your SIP password. Also enter your DID inside the throwaway authentication ID field. Next choose a maximum simultaneous calls. And lastly, you will choose a destination for the calls to go. Now we will be setting up a outbound rule for making calls. And we will choose a rule name of one underscore out. And we will put a prefix of one. So we'll have to dial one to call out. After we finish, we can see that our trunk has been set up. Now we will set up our inbound rule.
after carrying a name in the DID, DDI mess, we'll enter our DID and then for the port select your trunk okay now we can see that our trunk our inbound rule has been created next we'll go back to extension status and from here we will create a new extension and with this extension we will be going through the 3.6 phone system but using the inbuilt soft phone to get the credentials and this will be entered in Xlight. So simply enter the display name, simply match up the fields and username will be your ID as well as your authentication ID. And your domain will be the proxy server. Okay, now we can see that our extension is registered, as well as our trunk. Now we will make a test call. Thank you for calling IP Communications. Your first choice for IP delivered. Now you can see that basic setup has been completed. So be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe here for more.